guys, SuperTentBoff here, and I'm here with another Xco tutorial for you today. Now in this tutorial I'm going to be once again covering one of my older tutorials, and this is going to be talking about UI web views. Now in a previous tutorial of uh, UI web views, I talked about how you could add a UI web view to your application which loads a website online. But I also said at the end of that tutorial that I would make another video which covers how to load a web page or a HTML document, for example, which is stored offline or basically in the resources folder of your iOS application. So here I've got a simple little <clears throat> here I've got a simple little web app here. It's a basically well just HTML. I made it in a Jack Dash code, and I'm just going to launch here in the iOS simulator in Safari. So it doesn't really do much, but you get the idea. It's just for demonstration purposes. And so I've got a little button here to mail and so on. But it's all done in HTML, as you can see, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to, instead of storing this online and then loading it in the UI web view, we're going to load this locally in the resource, from the resources folder in our iOS application. So let's close this and start a new Xcode project. I'm going to call this, I'm going to select a single view application, or if you're on the older iOS 4 and older SDKs, it will be a view based application. I'm going to select a local web view, save this to the desktop. There we go. So, the very first thing I'm going to do is, of course, add in our HTML documents to the uh, resources, or in this case, the supporting files folder of our iOS application. So just drag and drop that in here. And here, just one thing to note here, when you want to load a document such as a HTML document locally, it's better to select create folders references for any added folders. Um, just select this option when you're copying in the files. Now I don't know why, but when you select this option, it doesn't work when you're loading a local HTML file. Um, but when you select this uh, when you select this option it does work. Now I don't exactly know why, but all the forums I saw always said this, and I tried it. You know, I've used this quite a bit in, in the past, and this way, by selecting this option, it works a lot better. So anyway, let's just copy those items in. So here they are. Here are the here is the local HTML folder, and if we open that folder, we have all the contents of that folder in our Xcode project. So that's all good. Now let's come to our ViewController.h and begin with the coding. So it's really simple here. We're just going to open and close two curly brackets and make an IB outlet for our UI web view. So IB outlet space UI web view space star. And we're going to give our web view a name. I'm going to call this web view. <laughs> Very simple. Now we're going to come and add a at property function. So at property space open brackets non atomic comma space retain. Um, that's it. Retain close brackets space UI web view space star and now type in the name of our web view. So in my case, it's web view semicolon save. Now we're going to come into the view controller.m file and because we used an at property function, we're going to obviously synthesize it. So at synthesize and then type in the name of our web view. So in my case, it's web view semicolon save. So that's all good. Now, what I'm going to do for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to make it so that when our application loads, the web view starts loading the HTML content. So I'm going to use the super view did load function here. So just delete this here and type in the following code ns string space star path equal space equals space open to square brackets ns bundle space main bundle close square brackets or just close one of these square brackets space path for resource and then put an at and open and close two quotation marks and here we're going to put in the name of our HTML document now in most cases a lot of people will be implementing for example web apps and just like a website any web app starts with the index file so you're going to want to type an in index here and an off type, well, in this case, it's HTML. So I'm going to put at open to uh, quotation marks. And in between the quotation marks, put in the format of the file. So here it's HTML. After the closing uh, quotation mark, 
put a space, and then type in the following code. In dictionary, or directory, sorry, um, at sign, open to, bra uh, open to quotation marks, and in between these quotation quotation marks, we're going to write uh, write in the name of the folder um, of which our HTML documents are stored in. So in this case, the name of the folder is local HTML. So I'm going to type that in, local HTML. And then after the closing quotation marks, close our square brackets, semicolon, save, and come down the line. Now type in ns url space star url space equals space open the square brackets ns url space file url with path and then put path close the square brackets semicolon and come down the line now for next line of code put in ns url request space star request equal or space equal sorry open square brackets ns url request space request with url and then put url close square brackets semicolon save and then come down for our very last line of code which is going to be open square brackets now type in the name of our web view so in this case it's web view space load request colon and then type in request close square brackets semicolon save and that's it we're done so that's it for the code so now we've got to come into our xib file and add in a ui web view so let's come into the view controller.xib file open this up and make sure our files owner is selected or actually selected once we add in the ui web view sorry so I'm just going to open this up and I'm going to drag and drop a simple little UI web view. There we go. Now select our files owner, come into the connections tab in interface builder here and connect the IB outlet, which in this case is web view to our UI web view, like so. Save. And now let's build and run. And this should work perfectly fine. So as you can see, no issues here whatsoever. So this all works fine. And here is our UI web view, and it has loaded our local HTML document. So we can press this button, and the idea is it should work, although maybe that's to do with my code in dash code. Uh, but you get the idea, it does work here, it has loaded our HTML document as you can see. So there it is. There is our UI web view, and, that's is, and that is how we can load a local HTML document. Now, this also has some other uses. For example, you can also load PDF documents like this as well. And I'll just quickly show you that as well. So if we stop this here, come into the view controller H, and it's really very simple, there's not much to it. Um, but basically, you would type in the name of your PDF here. So I'm going to just do I have a simple little PDF here anyway. Well, not this one. All right. Basically, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use pages and quickly make a PDF file. Um, this is just to demonstrate how you can use a PDF file in a UI web view as well. So let's just do that. Make our PDF file. So this is a PDF file. And save that as a PDF file. We're going to have to export it. Yep, save it. I'm going to save it. PDF, PDF.PDF. PDF. Hello. So, yeah, on our desktop, we have a PDF file here, and it's called PDF, funny enough. So, we're just going to drag and drop this into our supporting files, or if you're on the older SDK, you're going to drag and drop it into the resources folder. We're going to select create groups for any added folders in this case and finish. So here is our PDF file. Very well. Now let's come back into the viewcontroller.m file and we're just going to change a few things here. So here where it says for path resource, we're going to change this to the name of our PDF file. So in my case it's called literally called PDF. And of type, well the document is a PDF file, so I'm going to put PDF. 
an in directory. Well, it's not technically in any directory, so we can probably leave that blank. And we should be able to build and run. And there we have it, guys. So this is our UI web view, and it's loading a PDF file. Now, obviously, if you have more pages, you'll be able to scroll down and view all the pages. But in this case, we only have one page of our PDF file. And this is it. So there we have it, guys. That is how you can use a UI web view to load local data from the resources or in the new SDK from the supporting files folder. And this can load files like PDF, HTML documents, Java documents, things like that. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this tutorial has helped. If it has, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.